Minnesota is getting major attention from the presidential campaigns today. Jill Biden was at a Prior Lake Elementary School listening to teachers and local officials. And right now, here's a live look at what's happening in Duluth, where Donald Trump Jr. is preparing for a campaign appearance there. When you average all the polls in Minnesota, it shows that Joe Biden has a very narrow lead over President Donald Trump, 49 to 46 percent. That is close enough to be within the margin of error for most polls. As Esme Murphy reports, both campaigns believe they can win here. Dr. Jill Biden beamed with confidence as she spoke to reporters. We absolutely can win Minnesota. And uh, I looked at the polls this morning. Uh, it's looking good, but we're not taking any vote for granted. But the polls have been less definitive in this 2016 map of a red Trump wall surging in Minnesota, winning 78 of the state's counties and narrowly losing Minnesota to Hillary Clinton has energized Republicans. And so Dr. Biden visited Prior Lake in a suburban district that has gone Republican in recent elections to talk education. In this time of chaos, you know, you have created calm for your students. Dr. Biden, a college professor, appeared with the state's top Democrats, Governor Tim Walz and Senator Amy Klobuchar. She listened to them and to local teachers, like this one from Prior Lake, who says her greatest needs are iPads for students and more counselors. Any support that we can gain for guidance counselors, mental health experts, it's an area that was lacking before COVID, but boy, oh boy, has COVID blown that up. I just want you to know that Joe and I will always have your backs, so thank you. In these less than eight weeks before the election, you can expect many more visits by the Biden campaign and the Trump campaign to Minnesota, with the Biden camp convinced they can keep Minnesota in the Democratic column, and the Trump campaign convinced that this is one of their best chances of flipping a state from blue to red. In Prior Lake, as May Murphy, WCCO 4 News.